So you have a track you want to change the tempo of. Sometimes I do this when I'm learning a new song. I make that song a little slower. That makes it easier to learn and play along with. And it's pretty easy to do this in Logic Pro. So I'm just going to create a new project. I'll choose audio here as my option. Now, if you know the original tempo of your track, you can type it in at the top here. If you don't, uh, or what I like to do is I just like to set it as 100. I do that because whatever tempo of the track it is, I see, if I set it as 100, I see that as 100% speed. And so if I want to change it to 50% speed, I would just type in 50. Uh, same if I want to change it to like 80%. So I'm going to make this track a little bigger here so it's easier to see. I will go to File, Import, Import my audio file. And now if I go to Edit and Show Flex Pitch Time or Command F if you want to do the shortcut. So it gives me this little option here in the track and I want to choose flex time polyphonic. So it'll change the look of the track. That just means it's in flex time. So now I've still got my track at 100% speed. Now if I want to make this a little slower, I can go and type in 75 here, which I see is 75% speed. And now my track is, has been slowed down. So now it's easy, if I wanted to play along with this, I'll just create a new bass track. I'll click here to set up the track. If I wanted to, I'll just show you some of my default settings here. I like to keep it easy. I play a jazz bass, so I'll just make the little EQ there. I'll add a compressor. My bass, I don't really change anything there. And then I'll go to Bass Amp Designer. I'll just choose Modern Dynamic. I like to turn on the compressor. So now I'll grab my bass. I've got my input monitoring on. And so I can play along with this track at 75% speed. to 85% speed, I will just do that and then come back here. Now when I'm ready to take it full speed, I go back to 100 and let's see, let's see how I do. And so that's an easy way to set up a track in Logic Pro and then change the tempo of your track and uh, to make it a little bit easier to play along with when you're learning the song. I hope that's been helpful and thanks for watching.